Example number two. In 2011, the Singapore Flyer was the largest Ferris wheel in the world. The table below gives the height from the ground at different times. Now, this is something that's important, height from the ground. Jordy got on the Singapore Flyer at noon and wrote, <laughs> nope, rode it for four consecutive rotations. His friend Yale was in a building directly across from the Singapore Flyer at a height of 400 feet. When was Geordi level with Yale? Now remember, it's a sinusoidal function, it's periodic, so we might have a few answers here. And after 96 minutes, what is Geordi's height? First things first, let's uh, get uh, the sinusoidal uh, equation here. So I'm just, I've saved us some, some time again. I've put all the data in and I've checked it, okay? So at this point, maybe what you wanna do is pause um, and uh, put this information in your calculator. Because I'm just a little bit ahead of the game. So pause it, do it, really. And we're back. Okay, so I have it, I've checked it, and I'm just going to graph it to make sure that I can see. Now I'm noticing that my plots are on. I go second Y to get my plots on. Um, and I graph it, and I'm like, oh, wait, let's change my window settings so I can see what this thing looks like. So I'm looking at my X's. And it goes from 0 to 74 minutes. So if I go 0 to 100, oh, sorry, 0 to, say, something like 100, okay, we'll see. Um, and then with my Y, I go from, well, 49, but we'll go 0 to a maximum of 541. So if I go from 0 to 600, hopefully I'll see it. I'll hit my graph. Hey, there we go. Now we're noticing the question itself asks for four consecutive rotations. Um, we're going to have to extend the y to be able to see uh, to see it uh, to see it go that many uh, to see it go four times. Um, but first things first, let's get that equation. So I'm going to go sine calc, and I'm going to scroll down. Do 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 do. Sin reg. L1, comma, L2, comma, vars, y vars, enter, enter, enter. Now, it doesn't specifically ask for the equation, um, but let's just do it anyway, because that's how we get our answer. So for A, the equation is y equals 246, 246, well, 246 sine of open bracket, bx plus c, so the b is 0 0.169, going up to, uh, uh, it has to go up one though, so it's uh, 0 0.170x plus what our b is, oh sorry, plus what our c is, but it's negative. So I'm going to change the sign here to minus 1.57. and this rounds it up to 1. Now we add or subtract our d value. Oh, and it's a nice one, plus 295. Okay, you're noticing here that the um, that this is actually the equation of the the midline is going to be y equals 295, which is the the midline or the middle data point, which is cool. It's not just a, it's not just a fluke. So let's graph this thing. Let's see. So every minimum represents one full rotation because we go from here to a minimum. So that means one rotation, two rotations, and a little bit more like two and three quarters rotations. We want to change that y scale so that we can see four rotations so that we can, um, so that we can use that to answer A. So I'm going to go to window settings and I'm going to go to, instead of 100, I'm going to go to 200 because if one gave me like two and a bit, um, 200 will at least give me four. So let's see this. So one rotation, two rotations, three rotations, four rotations. Perfect. So let's just remember, we don't want to have any information after this point. We just want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have eight intersections. So <clears throat> when we actually look at the data here, it says, um, at a height of 400 feet. So we're given the dependent, okay? We're given the height, okay? 
we need independent. So we're going to use our intersection method. So we're going to say y2 not y1 because that's where our equation is. y2 equals 400 and then we're going to go second trace intersection. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to y, going to let my y1 be that, and our y2 is going to be 400. I'm going to graph it. Woo! So remember, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we don't want to have this intersection or this intersection or this intersection because that goes beyond the four full rotations. So second trace, I'm going to go intersect, enter. And just so that I don't mess this up, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go to my uh, farthest one and then work inside. That's just going to be my little technique. Enter, enter. Cool. So it's going to, the, our final one is going to be at 136.153 minutes. So x equals 136.153. And let's work backwards. So second trace, intersect. I'm going to get closer. I'm going to go here, enter, enter, enter. And 122.847. 122.847. We're going to do this for the remaining eight. I know. Intersect. I'm going to get closer to the... Oh, do, 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 do. Enter, enter, enter. So we have 99.153. And then second intersection. Intersection. Gonna... This is actually a quicker way here. Go enter, enter, enter. So 85.847. Let me just double check that. 847, good. Second trace, I'm five intersection. I just, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go that way. Yep. Enter, enter, enter. So you just want the cursor to go close. So you're picking one line and then the other line and then hitting it again so that it knows that you're sure that you want that. So um, 62.153. 62.153 mins. We're getting close, folks. Getting close. Second trace. Intersection 5. I'm going to get closer to that. Good. Enter, enter, enter. 48.847. Two more. We can do this. Second trace, intersect. Just going to go like that. Do, 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 do. Come on, buddy. Enter, enter, enter. The x value here is 25.153. 25.153 means. And last but not least, second trace, intersect. Gonna go like that, get closer to that intersect, enter, pick the other line, enter, enter. 11.847. So, Georgie's going to see his buddy Yale uh, at 11.847 minutes, at 25.153 minutes, at 48.847 um, minutes, etc., all the way to 136.153 uh, minutes. All right, so uh, B, saving the easiest to last. And just for the record, this is the last example that you're going to be doing for this entire course. That should feel real good. So we're given, it says after 96 minutes, so we're actually given our independent, and we need dependent. 
So we're going to use value. So after 96 minutes, what is Jordy's height? So I'm going to say x equals uh, 96, y equals, and we'll figure it out. So second trace value, x equals 96, enter. Okay, so at 96 minutes, Jordy is going to be a height of 498.813 feet. 498.813. Let's see, is it in feet? Yeah, good. Our height's in feet. Let me just double check that I rounded that right. And I did. And that is that. Woohoo!